Energy is the capacity to do work. In our modern society, we use energy for a lot of things. We harness and manipulate it to make our lives easier. And the ability to store the energy that we create becomes as important as our ability to make it. This is a lithium battery. We take the potential energy of chemicals and convert it to energy to do work. In this case, to power a small camera. So a battery is basically just a store of potential energy. In this case, we use chemical energy to store. And in that case, we use gravitational energy. We're on the shores of Lake Michigan and this facility is often called the Big Battery. Ludington pumped storage facility just south of Ludington, Michigan. It's after Labor Day and uh, you can't get to the top of the reservoir to the observation deck to take a peek around after Labor Day. So we're just forced to look longingly up at it. But that's okay. And it's a bit of a climb, but the view of Lake Michigan's pretty darn good. Out there is Lake Michigan, 22,406 square miles of fresh water, surrounded by 1,400 miles of shoreline. And up there is a reservoir that's two and a half miles long, one mile wide, and 110 feet deep. And from there, to there runs a mile and a quarter of penstocks or pipes that are large enough to drive a semi truck through. And down there are six massive turbines that can either generate electricity or be reversed and pump water. So why is one of the largest storage batteries of electricity in the world here in rural Michigan? And why was it so big when it was built? And the answer to that is nuclear power. See, back in the 1970s, Michigan had a fair amount of nuclear power plants, and they're designed to run flat out. They had to recoup their construction costs, and they're just kind of designed that way. You can't easily cool down or warm up a nuclear power plant. Because varying the power of those older style nuclear power plants causes the buildup of xenon gas, and xenon gas is pretty dangerous. For instance, the Chernobyl disaster was caused by a buildup of xenon gas. See, power grid demand varies hour by hour, Minute by minute, we get up in the morning, we make our morning coffee, we toast our bagel, we head off to work, we turn on the air conditioner, we turn on the heater at night, we turn the lights off, we set our alarm clock. Since nuclear power wasn't really set up to handle all the varying loads, they needed to come up with a solution and probably a solution either get rid of all that power somehow, or they could store it. And this was the storage solution. At night, those pumps would pump water up to 363 feet to the top of the reservoir, storing the water up there. But during the day when energy demand was greater, then it would drain the water down to 363 feet, and those would be converted to turbines instead of pumps, and they would generate electricity for the grid. It covers 842 acres and stores 27 billion gallons of water, or about 2,400 backyard swimming pools. Consumers Power in Detroit Edison, now Consumers Energy and DTE Energy, finished the project in 1973. And at the time, it was the largest battery in the world. Consumers Power owns 51% and DTE owns 49%. So I guess Consumers calls all the shots. Last year, they just finished an upgrade of the pumps and facility and they expect it to last another 40 years to be 5% more efficient with 15% more capacity. Now it can generate enough electricity for 1.65 million homes or 10% of the Lower Peninsula's energy needs. In the 1990s Big Rock nuclear power plant 
began decommissioning with other plants soon to follow suit. Eventually, they plan to phase out the nuclear power plants. Now, if they're gonna phase out the nuclear power plants, why would they spend the time, energy, money, and effort to upgrade the facility to last another 40 years? And according to Consumers Energy, their future is in wind and solar, and those projects tend to be unreliable. They only produce power when there's sun or wind. And just one mile east is the Lake Winds Energy Park. 56 turbines generating over 100 megawatts of power. About 2.4% of the state's power needs. And this storage reservoir is supposed to be an integral part of our energy future. With the future of the grid promising unreliable generation sources, it kind of makes sense to retrofit this. It's kind of an old solution for an old problem upgraded to be a new solution or an old solution for a new problem or a new solution for a new problem that was also an old pro I don't know. But nonetheless, it's going to serve a purpose. So if you're ever up in Ludington, Michigan and you're looking to visit something, you can stop by. they got a pavilion, a picnic area. You can hike to the top of the reservoir in the summer or you can hike out and view Lake Michigan. I'm Chuck, Channel's Restless Viking. Thanks for watching.